Hey guys and welcome to the part 2 of our uh, car paint tutorial. In this part we're going to take a look at how to create uh, this kind of uh, pearl car paint. Uh, basically car paint that uh, shifts color on the highlights and depending on the angle you view it from. Uh, so in Corona, picking up where we left off in the, in the previous uh, lesson, uh, basically um, Usually, when uh, you would you would uh, wanna create uh, this kind of car paint, uh, you would need some sort of uh, advanced reflection absorption map. Uh, this map has been requested on forum, but it's probably gonna take a while before it's implemented in Corona. And there are several ways you can fake fake these effects. Uh, so uh, first thing, first way you would probably think of is uh, using fall off map, but unfortunately, uh, that will shift uh, the color not uh, depending on the light angle, but depending on the view angle. So it's just a quick fake, but uh, it won't it won't create much realistic effect. So there's a better way. Uh, first, let's let's tweak our scene set up a little bit because uh, we need right conditions to evaluate this effect properly so i'm gonna set corona sky as our environment and uh, add corona sun all right i'm gonna delete all these lights i'm gonna disable our direct visibility override oops great now just take our corona sky take our shadow catcher plug this in the back plate environment projection onto geometry now let's just compensate for the exposure uh, minus four Yep, and this looks actually pretty, pretty nice. We've got we've got a simple, simple daylight setup and our car in the middle of it. So we can clean this up and focus on our car paint. Okay, so we will keep our keep our setup pretty much the way it is but we are gonna create a new base layer so let's get crown material let's plug it in here and for some reason it doesn't update let's let's try yeah there we go there we go all right and taking a look at the picture it kind of falls off from the uh, bright yellow color to the more darker almost almost a uh, red color so let's let's set diffuse to to red let's make it a bit darker and now let's set the reflection to yellow and let's enable the reflection and here we go basically That is all there is to it. We can play with the with the final IOR depending on how much of the of the reflection we need. But uh, this is this is our first step that we need to take, and our second step is to take fall off and. Grab this color, paste it in here, grab this color, paste it in here, and let's put this in the reflection color, like this, okay? And as you can see, we have, uh, we have car paint that changes color both depending on the light angle and on the viewing angle. We might still need to, to do some, uh, some tweaking 
here and there. So let's maybe play with our fall off curve. Do we have our colors right? Oh, there's our problem. We need to swap these two. There we go. Okay, let's unplug this from the diffuse. And let's play with the curve here as well. This is maybe too too crazy example of the color shift, so let's let's get let's get a little easier on that. And this wasn't so so red to begin with. So let's play with that as well. But yeah, we are we are pretty much close to to what we are seeing. Okay. So this is it. This is how you would proceed to set up, set up a metallic or uh, I mean pearl car paint. Uh, let's grab also crown color and let's synchronize these two colors so it's a little easier to manage manage this setup. So maybe here. We will go after some blue and here, here we will go after some purple color. Again, we don't need to overdo it too much. So let's make it just purplish color and again we have another another kind of uh, pearl car paint we can play with the curve here and we can see how the color changes both on the depending on the view angle and depending on the light angle. Okay, so this is it for the for the uh, pearl car paint and in the last part we're going to take a look at how to create some nice uh, car paint flakes. So see you then.